What is going on, gamers? It's Mayhem. Guys, we're here for my first Let's Play, playthrough, whatever you want to call it, of this war of mine. So if you guys don't know what, the, what this is, um, you play as... At the beginning, there's three survivors in at a war, and you're under complete control. So you have to sneak out at night, gather supplies, and build up um, resources to survive. You can be raided. Um, it gets pretty crazy. To be honest, I'm not the best at explaining it, so what I'm going to do is... Oh, this is new. I haven't played this game in a long time. Yeah, I haven't played this game since my old, my laptop, so bear with me. I, that's completely That screen was completely new. So hopefully I haven't changed too much, or it'll be ripped for me because I don't know how to play. So, yep, yeah, so it's, um... I know, it's, I wouldn't, it's not, obviously, it's not, you know, like a GTA type of thing. It's almost like a, uh, like a, kind of gives me like a, like a uh, level builder type of, le type of feel. So for, it starts with three people, and so what happens is one goes out, here, so here's what I do. At night you can assign them roles, right? So at night one goes out, to, I do one goes out to scavenge, one guards, and one sleeps. So those are the three roles, so I have one on each. And then the guy that um, scavenges at night, okay, I'll read this first. How long has the siege lasted? It's hard to say when every day is a struggle for survival. The city is crawling with snipers. Shelling is ordinary business almost every night. Phones don't work. There's a shortage of food and meds, and many people are left homeless. Bruno and Marco have always been good friends, so when the war broke out, they decided to stick together. They met Pev Pevla while scavenging for supplies. He used to be poor poor rip, I cannot pronounce that, star football player. Now he's just another homeless victim of war, so they teamed up hoping for the best. Alright, so here's how, we, here's how we're going to do this, okay? I'm going to look at their bios. He is a fast runner. He is a good cook, and he's a skilled scavenger. Okay, look at that. Look who's going out tonight. So, first order of business. I need to clear that out. So, the first day will be... Oops, this door's locked, okay. The first day will just be it will just be me looting stuff and clearing out parts of the buildings, trying to get some supplies prepared for the night. So, let's see what we got here. So I'm gonna go over a few things. Some materials we got. Ooh, that's metal, wood, and medicine, herbs, electric parts, wood, and components. So it's herbs. Oh, might as well grab. The, oh, that was all. That's all, that was all I was in there. All right, cool. So now with that, I'm gonna move him up here. So as I was saying earlier, there's three roles. You can guard scavenge or sleep so the guys that either guards or scavenges will alternate days while the other will always scavenges and he'll sleep during the day so which will put me you got i want a man down during the day but that's just kind of one less thing to look after so that's all right please don't be locked it's good i don't want anything to have to be locked yet i'm gonna see if i can actually craft a bed yet this. I can't force the lock open. Okay. Well, he's digging to dig that out so I can access that. Um, let's see what else is there to loot. Let's take this guy. Okay. Can we make a bed? Yes, we can. So I'm going to make a bed for that one guy to sleep. And I think I'll make my this bottom room my bedroom. And then I'll just have him head down here. So at night, so like I said, so it's in the upper left corner, you can see it gives me a time, temperature. Um, eventually we'll have to make things like heaters and stuff like that. But for now, uh, we're good now, but that gets later in the game. So once this guy builds this, I'm going to have Marco here sleep so he can get prepared. He's also slightly sick, so that also might help him. But until then, I'm going to put him to good use. And if so, left click makes him walk, and right click makes him run. Alright, well he's done. He's almost through that. So I'm going to have him go up here and craft a shovel. Because there's way too much debris, as you can see down here, just to, just to hand dig it like that. That'll take literally the whole rest of the day. Can't you... Hmm. Okay, so I do need to make one of these. Great. Fantastic. It's already a lot of resources I use. Alright, so that doesn't take him a minute, so I'll get this when he's doing that. And, and uh, also lockpicks are one thing. That's another thing I'll be able to make 
along with that stuff there. That door is locked. Here, I think all the doors are locked, so we're kind of waiting on this guy. So I'll have to head down here. Let's make a... Wait, what will that take away? That's not bad. Let's make two lock picks. And I'm gonna work on clearing out the bottom section, because this is in a shambles. This guy. Um, I don't need a crowbar. Actually, I do need a crowbar. I don't have enough materials. But hopefully, I'll, I'll definitely be able to find a crowbar in either that or that. You know what? This door up here was locked. But I do want to get these two doors open first. Come on. I believe in you. So let's go. Let's go start. Again. Actually, nah. Let's do this. Keep that door open. I have a job for you. You are going to get through this section. So yes, his, his, he's, he's going to take a lot less or a lot more time, but in exchange, he also has a lot less work. He just literally has to break with that one pile, and then I'll get that door with a crowbar. Um, probably after I scavenge for stuff tonight. Yeah, this is gonna, this shovel is coming in super clutch. By the time I get all of this cleared out, I'm I'm hoping that he'll have this done. Fingers crossed. And hope, sometimes they don't they don't break. Lockpicks don't break. I believe. So did that break? It, okay. So is this a one-time use? Okay, it's a single use. All right. I'm nothing. I don't remember that correctly. Then. Oh, he has. Wait. No. Okay, I guess I'll just him. I'll just have him do that. I guess. I'm not sure how long the shovel lasts. So. Alright, that's not that's not bad to be honest. Now I'll have him make I'm gonna make a stove. And then he'll drip get out the rest of this stuff. Hopefully there's some good stuff in here. Or it's a rip. So this first night's kinda grindy, and also they can have people come up to the door willing to trade stuff and things like that. So it does get kind of grindy for the first day, but after that it will improve. This game is a lot of fun once you get um, in good order with everything. So I can't make a stove yet, unfortunately. Alright, my bad. I muted my mic. I was like dying on the mic for a minute. Alright, let's have him finish this off. So yeah, one guy's going to get screwed and have to... Oh my god. One guy's gonna get screwed and have to. Oh, oh, great. I don't have a lockpick set. Alright. Skilled Scavenger. So he is obviously gonna scavenge. He's slightly wounded, so you're gonna sleep the first night. You're gonna sleep in the bed, actually, and then you're gonna guard since you're in good shape. Abandoned Cottage. Eh, I'm not gonna bring anything. Eventually, I'll, t I'll take weapons and things like that, um, knives and such. I'll grab a shovel just in case. Actually, no, I, I should be good. I don't want to, because that's that fills up an inventory slot, and I really want to keep my inventory open. Alrighty, so here we are. Perfect. Perfect. We got 715. Good So I'm gonna peek through this slot. There's nothing there, but I'm still gonna take the ladder. So as you can see, there's scavenge. Oh, okay, ripped. And it's the left side of scavenge mode. So that's when he's being stealthy and looking through stuff. And then there's fists, and I have weapons. They'll be, so I'll show my weapons. Um, and it can get pretty brutal. Um, you can hide in like closet things, things like that. When people walk by, you can just stab them in the neck. And that's what displays when there's things moving above me. And I know for a fact that it's just a, this is a mouse or a rat or something like that. But I, ha but eventually it does get to, so I'm done. So I'm getting out of here. Eventually he does get to like people and they're armed and things like that and you can get shot at. It's, it's pretty crazy, but that was a successful first night, got some supplies. So now Marco's gonna go back to bed. 
if the game ever loads. Wow, 17 FPS and then that loading screen. GG, no re. Hey, let's get it. Good job, fam. Alright, now, so you're slightly. Okay, so first off, you have a job to do, right? So you're gonna go up. You're gonna go there. You're gonna go there. Okay. Oh, I just wanna get down there. So he can. Yes, you do need food. That's what I'm working on. Chill, fam. Uh, let's make two of those. I think an hour, but it'll definitely be worth it. I'll, I'll get these guys some food. Once he, once he gets those lock picks done, I'm gonna have him clear out the rest of this rabble. And. Work stove. Sweet. I'll put that right up there. He can build that. Pick this lock. And, and also getting these rooms open will give me full access to obviously my own base, which is always nice. There's, here's my infirmary here. I do need more bandages and such, so hopefully that comes sooner than later. Diamonds, I can sell those. So I can't get down there yet. Um, I can't get there, so it looks like it's time for a, how many more lockpicks do I need? Just two? Great, we can build another one, it looks like. No, he's in here. Who's the good cookie on this guy? Let's have you come up here and cook something. And then you take account. So I need, so I have one lockpick, 